Wait for me. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. YouTube. YouTube. It's been a minute, but we back at it. It's your boys at Rock One, Stock One, Sky C. Big Ant. Your boy Big Will. Big William. And we gonna talk about this week's pickups, man. What do we have here? We get everything in here from the GRs all the way to your exclusives, man. Yeah. So we gonna work our way up. It's like a pyramid. <clears throat> Start off Friday's release of the Nike <clears throat> Air Up Tempos, known as the Pippin, Scotty Pippin shoe. Um, it's kind of a re-release, but it's kind of not, because when these first came out, the Air was suede or new buck instead of um, patent leather. But I love the new look on it. I love patent leather because I love 11s, Jordan 11s. And I think it's a nice touch, man. Like, you ain't got to worry about that getting wet and messing up. I love the colorway on the shoe. I'm a big Bulls fan. And I got like every Scottie Pippen jersey. So I'm definitely going to be breaking out my red Chicago Bulls jersey with these shoes. What you think about up tempos overall? <clears throat> I love up tempos as a all around wearing shoe for the fact that it got that air bubble, the Air Max bubble, and they're so comfortable. The only flaw of the shoe for me is that they're kind of heavy. They but I'm not, I'm not hooping at them though, so I mean, they're comfortable for me. They're not tight. It's a wider shoe, so if you got a wide foot, it's like a perfect fitting shoe. I can wear that shoe all day, whereas some of my Jordans, I only can wear them for a couple hours without them being uncomfortable. But I love the up tempo, and it's a lot of shoes with that same look, like your Barclays and you know your other uh, up tempos. But these ones are one of my favorites, and they're doing a lot of different colorways in this shoe this year. And I'm just excited for them to bring this shoe back. I've been waiting for this shoe for a long time, and it seems like every year they would get closer and closer to bringing this exact one out. They hit us with a different Pippin, or they hit us with a Barclays. I'm like, man, when is the air more up tempo is gonna come back out with the air on the side? And they hit us up with that black and white one last year, and then they just been coming and coming and coming ever since. I was a little too excited because <coughs> I broke mine out in the floor of my yeah, See, he had to put his on. <laughs> but that's what you do. That's what he's showing you. When he buys a shoe, he gonna wear it. He ain't gonna stop that thing, you know. Wear but he got your two, shoes. Though. Rock one, stock one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. What you think about them, Big Will? Young Buck, because this shit was before your time. It, yeah. it, it is before my time. You were still it's, swimming in the sack. It's, it's <laughs> fire, though. It's, it's fire, though. It's dope. I went ahead and caught them as well. I don't know when I wear them, because I'm a hoarder. You know how that goes. But it's fire. You know, I definitely, I definitely wanted the red and the white ones when they came out, but I didn't get them. Instead, I got the white ones with the gun bottle. Yeah. I picked them up and said, the I got them and they're dope too. I'll be wearing these all summer <coughs> long because they're fire, bro. I'm the outsider. I didn't like the white with the gum bottles. I love them. That's I love them. up tempos, period. My yeah. favorite ones will always be the originals. I call them the Oreo tempos. The black with the white outline. Yeah. The best ones to me. I just love, I love the toe box on the shoe. I mean, it's a dope shoe. It's kind of over the top with the big air on the side like that. I think this was a it, it it was in the it, it's it represents the 90s to me dog yeah. like shoe design in the 90s i think when a lot of folks copied off of this shoe i think Man. you're right about that but the toe box is like it, gets it for me dog I it's love like the toe box on this shoe it's like when i was younger man if you had that shoe you you was a cornball you wasn't with the program you wasn't cool but now it's like man that's the dope shoe man you know we got the big air on the side and all that but bro, it's just man, it's it's a dope shoe, dog. I, I love think it. <clears throat> I think my first time saw this was like in Gabe or something, dog. <laughs> like, I, I love. I'm being for real, like for real, man. It was like in a little, like a little discount store, man. I hate plain, so I love the over. Yeah, the top. it's over the top. I remember bro. my pops, man. I had uh, those shoes, the black and white when I was young. He was like, "Damn, look at that big ass air!" <laughs> and ever since then, that just something that stuck with me, man. I, I love it, man. I love over the top shoes because it feels like I'm getting my money's worth. Yeah. <clears throat> so next, we're going to go to a shoe that me and my little bro like, but this <laughs> old school guy don't like them even though they did come out in 98. He's an old yeah. high beast. Yeah. The navy black Jordan 13 lows. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not big on lows, but I love this shoe. This and the chutneys must grab. I love this shoe. I love the colorway. It got that same flint color that's on the flint 13s, the mids. But instead of going with the white, they went with the black. 
And to me, it's just like a reverse Flint low. And that's why I love them so much, because I grew up in Flint, Michigan. So that was a thing. If you was a sneaker collection, a collector back then, you needed to have that shoe. So it's kind of a play on the name, but I love this shoe. And the differences that I like is like the metallic jump man. Yeah. Like, I, I just love that. Instead of having that bubble, you got the metallic jump man, and that's one of the things that I love about the shoe. I, I grew up in the late 80s, early 90s. Y'all don't know about when Nissan trucks used to be popular and they had like the wide <laughs> tires and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. anybody who grew up in the 80s knows Nissan trucks used to be the shit. Anyway, I remember it would be some dudes that would try to be creative with their Nissan truck and they chopped the top off of them. And I've seen a Nissan truck with the chop, the top chop right, and it looks dope. And I've also seen it where it looks like somebody did it in their backyard. And this reminds me of that, bro. This reminds me of somebody who took a 13 mid and chopped the top in the wrong way, dog. I just, I, 13 is my second favorite silhouette. Jordan 1 is my first favorite silhouette. Jordan 13 is my second favorite silhouette. And I just don't like these, man. It just looked like somebody took a regular mid and just chopped it, hacked it off with a saw or something, dog. I don't like them, man. I love the shoe, man. I love the colorway. And like he said, 13s, it's in my top five. And that this is a Jordan that's actually very comfortable. I can wear my 13s yeah, my all dog. day because they yeah. fit like a glove on the foot. Man. It's, a, it's a dope basketball shoe, too. Yeah. It's a real durable yeah. shoe. Man, with these, I didn't, I didn't pick them up. I didn't <clears> grab them today. I got some other stuff on my hit list that I'm going to go for. But these, I will come back to. They're not going nowhere. You know, they're sad, man. People don't like them, but it's a dope shoe. But them chutneys, I'm coming for you. I need two, two pairs. Two time. I need two pairs of them chutneys, We man. need two, two pair. Two Give pair. me two <laughs> pair of them chutneys. <laughs> but these, I will come back to them, man. They're not going nowhere. I might be able to get them down a little lower, you know. Under retail. But... <laughs> I'll, I'll catch them though, but they are dope. They're fire. You'll definitely be able to catch that shoe under retail. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's 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 one seventy five retail. I'll I'll be able to catch it under that, you know. Yeah. And I'm pretty I sure, agree. man. It's just this shoe ain't going nowhere, but it's a shoe I will have eventually. Yeah. Hey, so what, what's that next? <laughs> Get to the good stuff. Hype bees. <laughs> Hype bees. The Atmos Ooh. Air Max One. And this ain't the one that came by itself, it's the one with the pack. Yes. They got that jump in on the bottom there. Ooh. A little hit that we didn't even notice at first. Flavor. Got the Nike Air with the for elephant the, print for the on haters. the inside. <clears throat> it's so many dope things about this shoe. Like for instance, I don't like Jordan 3s. Yeah. I like the OG colorways, but the thing that makes a 3 a 3 is the <laughs> elephant print. I love elephant print, it's just a dope print which is one of the reasons why I didn't like the Cyber Monday 3, cause it didn't have the elephant print. And to me, a three ain't a three without the elephant print. But for them to put that on this shoe, it just set it over the top. The Air Max 1 to me is a plain shoe that look like a boat. They look like canoes to me. Uh, uh, but they are too, the worst shoe. When they throw that elephant print on there, I'm like, these is dope, man. This yeah. is a dope shoe. They're very comfortable. And the hits that they got on here, like they got the patent leather, um, Tiffany color check. I love patent leather. Elephant print, I love elephant print. It got the new buck, upper, and then the leather, the quality leather. If you know anything yeah. about ones, <clears throat> this leather is like shattered backboard one quality. Like, it's dope, I don't right? see this creasing at all. True. You even got the elephant print on the lace tips, man. Like, that's just little dope little hits like that. Like, <clears throat> Big ass this. Jordan hit an A plus. A plus with this shoe, man. A plus with this shoe. I was raised on Air Maxes, so I have a strong love affair with Air Maxes. And I think, <clears throat> it's like Skyler said, all the things that he pointed out, they went over the top of this one with the materials. Normally, Air Maxes have kind of like that that felt or net uh, type material. That, that grandma look. Yeah, and it, <clears throat> they do that for folks that were runners uh, so that the shoe would be flexible and would give you comfort, but yeah. 
this shoe they pulled out the stops with uh the premium materials i mean i'll go so far as to say man this this almost feels like a real premium suede and not really even new bug man it just feels like straight up you know old school suede that you find like on a puma or something man yeah. everybody shout out to all my 80s babies that wore their pumas with the thick suede on them uh that's what this reminds me of dog. they took it back to that but the leather here i didn't really i didn't know you know from looking at the pictures that the print the leather on here was going to be that premium dog but it's it's dope man it is definitely i would definitely say it's shattered backboard dope not reverse shattered back, but well, they got kind of both at the same leather. But yeah, that, oh, that yeah, shattered yeah. is a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit <clears throat> more tumbled. It's a dope. It's a dope shoe. It's funny because like the shoes that Nike like originally took and put elephant print on all became classics, and I guess it's just these two, like the Atmos uh, yeah. Air Max Runner and then the uh, Supreme Dunk Low. Those two shoes when they put. Uh, Elephant print on, they became iconic. So I just think it's an iconic shoe, dog. It's a dope, dope shoe, man. What you think, Will? It's it's fire, dog. Which my, it, this is not my favorite Air Max, like silhouette wise. It's not my favorite. I'm actually a big fan of Air Max 90. It's it's sort of that's in the 95, which which all both of them are classic. But these, I I'd give them, I give them eight out of ten. I know people might bash me. They're dope, bro. Don't get me wrong. They're dope. It's something I gotta have now. It's something I wanna have, yeah, sure. But it ain't nothing I gotta have, but it's dope. Quality, leather is dope, man. You guys can't see it, <clears throat> but we see it. Here, I'll show them. And it's dope. Go ahead and show them, man. That's, it's fire, Don't man. Don't take that long walk. <laughs> look at that, let's see if we get the camera to focus there. Look at that, man. Like if you look at like a regular all white Air Max One, yeah. that's, dope, that's like man. the Nurse Nancy shoe. Yeah. But you put the flash on this, it's like the Nurse Naughty shoe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's when Nurse Nancy get freaky. Yeah. That's when Nurse Nancy get a little right. So I mean, I love this shoe, man. I love this shoe. I'm a, I'm gonna jump right into these. Ooh. We're gonna oh. start off with them threes, though. I don't, I don't wanna be. Uh, uh, these, are, uh, uh. these are dope, man. Fire. I'm gonna <clears> actually <throat> get these. I just wish, which they, they like it though. I just wish, cause they, they put the black bottom on these, man. Well, this is more like a black smoked out bottom. Yeah. I wish they would've did it to these. Once these, once these shoes get yellow, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Give them to your little cousin, little brother. Cause they gonna be ugly. They gonna be ugly. But just like this, bro, they're fire, bro. It's a fire shoe. I like threes. What do you think, Skyler? Cause you made a good point. Like the Jordan three is synonymous with elephant print. So what do you think about them switching up the elephant print on this one? I love that they put the safari print on it because last year's Air Max had safari on it. So I get why they did it by making it a pack. Yeah. It's dope to me because it's similar. It looks similar. Mm -hmm. And I like the Safari print. It's a dope print to me. And it fits, it actually fits this shoe. It don't make it like look worse. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they'll do something different and like with the Lab Series and kind of mess up the shoe. But yeah. this, this made this shoe look real, real good. And the dope things that I like, <clears throat> like I said, I don't like playing. What other three you know, other than some samples out there, has an icy bottom? You don't see that on the three. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that's dope. That. I think that's dope. You will never see Ella, I mean, Safari on a three. That's dope. And then this, like, suede. It's top notch. Top bro. notch butter. Like, yeah. nice, Try. man. You don't see it changing colors or anything. It's I like fine. the kind of like Trace Cargo green they got on the back. And I love that they put the Nike Air and then put the Jumpman. Yeah. Like, that. that is a nice it. touch. They killed That's it, a man. nice touch. And they gave you the two little sets of laces. Yep. Come with it. They put the hang tag on there. This another uh, A plus, ten out of ten for me. Like I agree. Yeah. This pack will be mine. It's his. <laughs> I just, it's his. It will be mine. I, I just, love this shoe, man. I think for me, before we get the big end, I just think, I think they make these more for wearing, and these more for stocking. Like you get what I'm saying, man. It's just they're both classic. And over the notch, but man, Rock I don't one. know. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I mean, it's that's what I think, man. And personally, but we're gonna let him 
As you know, he about to finger caress it. <laughs> He's about to. I love Jordan 3s. I was raised on Jordan 3s. This shoe is just, it's dope. It's dope homage to the Jordan 3. Because, I mean, you got the suede upper. And then you got a cool new buck tongue. Mm. You got colorways that you haven't seen before. This off-white, kind of <clears throat> almost like beige. Um, you haven't seen that on many Jordans before. Um, the kind of a dark olive green hit on the Nike Air on the back and then to finish it off with an icy sole. I think only thing close to that would be the Dornbecker 3, but this is just something you don't see. If you're a regular person who doesn't have a bunch of samples, like Skyler said, man, this is something that you don't see. So yeah. A plus here. They even took the Nike tag and made it a little bit uh, oranger to match the Safari. So. It's dope. You got all the cool laces that go with it. I'm definitely going to do some lace swapping on them. But, I mean, just A plus, Nike. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm feeling like uh, Bruce Lee right now. Oh. These guys don't know why. I'm going to tell you why. Cause. <laughs> Cause. Oh, my. my. Cause, yo. My, my, my. Jordan 4. Cause. Like, what is the cause of this? For the cause. For the cause? For the cause. For the cause. <laughs> Dog, this is probably the dopest Jordan of 2017. I'm going to say it. Quality. I'm a sucker for glow in the dark and galaxy. Like, I love galaxy print. I love glow in the dark. And that's... Put some light on that. Man, that's dope. Like, this is a busy shoe. They already glow. This ain't a shoe that Let's get anybody can light. wear. <laughs> they got the hands. Inside the soul, them boy, even the hands in the shoe, like, ooh, we. I mean, they fire. Fire, man. You got the cause little symbol on the back. Great, great, great stitching. You see the tabs is even connected. Like, it ain't like a plastic tab. Yeah. Everything on this shoe is connected together. Like, this is top notch quality. Oh, you even got that teddy bear fur on it. I call it teddy bear fur because <laughs> it's so soft and smooth, man. You what? see the. Hands in the print and the stitching on the shoe. That's dope. You got a dope on. leather suede hang tag. Like, you see these going for $1,500 to $2,000. Would I pay that? No. Is it worth it? You could say so, because you don't see a shoe like this every day. You know, like, I don't even think you could fake a shoe like this. You see fakes all the time. Yeah. Nowadays, you can't fake a shoe like this. I think it would even be Even the inside high. is leather, yo. Like, let me walk up to the Goodbye, <laughs> sir. Get by your big willy. <laughs> Cause. Dope shoe, man. Dope shoe. I just think, man, this, back, sir. this thick, long hair suede <clears throat> they put where the netting is just blows me away, bro. This shit is so dope. I'm sorry I'm cussing y'all. Excuse me, but it's just the tongue. And the netting, where the netting is supposed to be, this suede is just crazy. And I think it's like you said, like the cause hands stitched all over. And then, yeah. you know, on the um, the midsole, you got this suede. It's wrapped in suede as well. And this sole is crazy because it changes colors. Like if you put it in a dark space, it's like a green glow. It's kind of like almost like an icy grayish blue. Uh, when it's in the sun, it's just, this is a freaking dope ass shoe, man. That's a fucking dope shoe. That's why it I got the 2X. Is, we got the 2Xs, we can cuss. This is X rated. Man. That's just Man, bro, man. it's Nike, Nike Jordan brand. They knocked this one out the park. They put their foot in this what one. What grade man. they get? They get a A plus. plus. <laughs> My turn. Here you go, Big Willie. Man. This is what brothers like me dream for. <laughs> this shoe is dope. It's, it's dope, man. I'm, I'm actually coming along with a deal with a good dude, with a good buddy from his shoe group. If the shoe fits, go in there and show some love. You know, we got some heat. Everything's legit. But I'm actually working through a deal with a buddy, man. Yeah. To hopefully get a pair and see what we can do to yeah. get a pair. I'm coming off some heat for him. But you know, man, they they glow in the they glow in the daylight. You yeah. don't even need darkness for these to glow. No, you don't, they, man. They they don't glow show. they glow in the sun. It's <laughs> it's crazy, man. We gotta 
good customer just walked in. We're gonna wrap this up. But man, I'm giving it. I'm giving the man a, a fifty out of ten. It's, it's, it's <laughs> that's a suck. Crazy that's man. Eight well plus, plus plus plus. <laughs> yes. But yeah, man. Make sure y'all like. Subscribe to our channel. Yes. We've been gone for a minute. We've been having a lot of business with sneaker conventions. We actually having one Saturday the 15th here in Charleston, West Virginia. Yes, it's gonna, uh, we're going to upload a lot of videos on that. So check out our Instagram at Rock One Stock One. That's R O C One S T O C K One. Please like, subscribe, and share, man. Yep. Check out our Facebook at the same R O C One S T O C K One. Yep. Signing out, baby. It's Scott C. Your boy, Big Will. The homie Big Ant. The rock one, stock one. Peace. Peace. Give me a little recording in. <laughs>